Welcome to Interventional Radiology at the Massachusetts General Hospital. I'd like to take this time to take you on a brief video tour to introduce you to the procedure rooms in which you'll receive your interventional radiology training. This is room one. In room one, we do a wide variety of interventional procedures, including follow-up catheter evaluations, ultrasound-guided procedures, central venous access work, and some arterial interventions. This is the common workspace for rooms one and two. In this area, there are workstations where we are able to review images prior to procedures as well as dictate reports in between cases. This is procedure room two. In procedure room two, we perform a variety of complex arterial and venous interventions as well as a number of non-vascular interventions. It's a sufficient size to accommodate anesthesia should we need them. This is procedure room three. It's a general purpose intervention room where we perform a variety of arterial, venous interventions as well as non-vascular interventions, including ultrasound guided biopsies and drainages. This is the common control area for rooms three and four, and as you can see, like rooms one and two, it's equipped with a number of workstations where we are able to review images and complete dictations. This is CT Scanner 4, one of our two dedicated interventional CT scanners. As you can see, it's a large bore CT scanner. In this room, we perform all of our tumor ablations as well as the vast majority of our drainage and biopsy interventions. This is room five. In room five, we perform primarily venous access interventions related to nephrology, including placement of tunneled hemodialysis catheters, fistula, and graft revisions. This is the common space area between rooms five and six, again, equipped with hospital-provided workstations where we can review images and complete dictations. This is procedure room six, another general purpose procedure room where we perform arterial, venous interventions, and non-vascular interventions. This is one of our two CT procedure rooms. We use this primarily for abscess drainages as well as CT guided biopsies. This is procedure room 64. In this room, we perform the majority of our central venous access cases. We also use this room for general interventional procedures, including gastrointestinal, genitourinary, and biliary interventions. We also use this room 
for follow-up catheter injections and evaluations. This is one of two ultrasound procedure rooms. We use this primarily for outpatient ultrasound guided biopsies, including thyroid biopsies, prostate biopsies, liver and renal biopsies. This is the second ultrasound procedure room another workhorse ultrasound room where we perform a number of ultrasound guided procedures, including thoracentesis, paracentesis, liver and renal biopsies, as well as some abscess drainages. This is operating room 81. This is one of our two OR rooms that we use for emergency cases, whether during the day or during off hours. We're not used for emergency cases. We also use this room for arterial and venous interventions, as well as non-vascular interventions that require the use of general anesthesia. This is OR 82. In OR 82, we perform the majority of our emergency procedures, either during the day or during off hours. When not used for emergency procedures, we use this room for arterial as well as venous interventions and non-vascular interventions that require the use of general anesthesia. This concludes our video tour of the department. I hope you found it helpful in giving you insight into what your training will be like at the Massachusetts General Hospital. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon.